Ready. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Guys, we're in I can Powell. barely see the sun is so bright, but guess what? It's been up since about 4:15 this morning. So have we. <laughs> so have the kids, <laughs> guys. It is so sunny, so bright, so hot, so beautiful out here. Oh, We've got the ski boat day. already out there with a couple of the kids on it. We just reversed out the house, but we are about to go take off into Lake Powell for our very first time ever. This is going to be such an amazing trip. It's already been so awesome. Had our first night here on the boat. Now we're sailing away. It's kind of we're like go when find you do spot. sail away on a cruise. You know, uh -huh. just was honking the horn and we're waving goodbye to all the people on the shore. Guys, this Nobody's is going to be incredible. Back, so if you've never done like the houseboat Lake Powell experience, we're gonna take this out, basically take an entire house slash hotel out, find a place to dock it, yes. you bury anchors, and then you set up camp for like the next four or five days. We also have a ski boat, we have wave runners on the back. We are gonna set sail, heading out, kids standing up on the deck, waving goodbye to everybody as we head out. The thing that's cool though is as we approach, as we get a little bit closer, I'm gonna go jump on one of the jet skis and I'm gonna go take off and find us a spot to go anchor. So, so basically me and Daniel, me and somebody just get to go explore on the jet skis. I am pumped out of my mind for that and that's how we're kicking off today. We'll tell you a little bit more later about how we woke up at four o'clock in the morning with the sunrise and kids are sleeping up here. We're gonna have to figure out a solution for that one tonight. Guys, right now it is party time. We gotta hit that music, we gotta hit that water. It's gonna be fun. Excuse me, Rondi. <laughs> Full speed ahead, oh yes. Right this way everyone, starboard ahoy. Did you say starboard? A vast IE mateys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really like taking uh, it? I actually am, and not only that, he said make sure you just go right of that oncoming houseboat, and I was heading straight towards it. <laughs> Our I, lives are in your hands. Yeah, this and I don't even terrifying. know how, how sensitive this is. I've never done this. So like, do I have to crank it? Is it a light turn? But I think I'm just now to the right of it. Captain Deckhead. Thank you, aye aye. All hands on deck. <laughs> We have attached the boat, it's being towed behind us. We've set sail on the open water here. We are heading through the channels into the bay of Lake Powell. We will eventually go off in these little like veiny branches of canyons. It's absolutely stunning. It's unlike any other place you've ever seen. Honestly, it looks sometimes like you've gone to another planet. I'm gonna try and get the drone up, follow the houseboat, show you what that looks like, show you how insane these canyons are. If you've never been to Lake Powell, you've never heard of Lake Powell, you don't know what's going on here. Some fun facts here. When you see the white on the canyon walls, that's how high the water level was at one point. So at some point in time, the water was up that high. Now it has been historically low for the last probably decade, just decreasing in depth. It has gained 70 plus, like 71, 72 feet of depth with all of the snow and the rain and the wet season that we've had here. It's all new terrain. This is higher than it's been in a very long time. It's gonna be brand new canyons that you haven't been able to explore before, brand new cliffs to jump off of, brand new places to check out with jet skis. So we are in for an absolute treat as we head out into the water here. We're just on the top deck, total vibe, got the music playing. I don't know where they got these water washing markers, but everyone's getting body painted up here. Dan Daniel and Mindy, for some reason, are building chairs because that's just how their brains work. They're back there building chairs. <laughs> just at the helm. I'm just taking in these sights, you guys. Just straight in front of me right now is nothing but like red rock canyons with tons of houseboats, ski boats, jet skis, gorgeous shimmering gold on the top of the water here. Watching the sun reflect off of the little ripples of the water is just undescribable experience. So yeah. Judd, if you're back here with me, who exactly is driving the boat right now? Captain's log. <laughs> Nobody's driving the boat. <laughs> Start date. We are running off course right now. But it is kind of cool. It's pretty wide open. We've got houseboats that come this way. They're coming in into the dock. As you head out, you kind of go on the right side. I asked Judd, I was like, is there like road rules out here? You stay on the right or the left? Does it matter? And he's like, usually there is kind of a system to it, but with how crowded it is right now, it's just basically don't run into anybody. So that's what we're working on right now. Just take in and enjoy this beauty. It's about a two, three hour cruise out to where we're going to be docking and staying. When you get there, you anchor in. For those of you Lake Pal veterans, this is all old news. You've heard it a million times. This is only my second or third time, our family's very first time ever coming here. And so this is all new to us. It's all so exciting, so fun, so spectacular, so much to take in. We're just excited that you guys get to be here for it all. This houseboat is amazing. It has everything we can eat, every amenity. It's got double ginormous fridge that we completely stocked full. It's got double freezers. We have tons of goodies in. We've got tons of amazing food, which as you know, if you know Mindy, that is a huge part of vacationing. We're gonna be eating good, living good, and having an amazing time as a family out here. Jared and Britt, we miss you like crazy. We wish you were here. Papa, we literally know that you are here. I would bet actually where Papa has gone is very similar to where we are right now. This would be Papa's heaven right here. Oh, <laughs> my 
This is the moment that I've been waiting for. We're slowing things down. Judd and I are gonna go jump on a pair of jet skis. We're gonna go tearing through these channels and find the perfect spot to put I'm this so houseboat. Excited. I am literally geeked out of my mind because I get to go out on the jet ski, have some fun. So I think Judd's gonna smoke me. He says these things go 70, and I do not oh even gosh, dare go 70. Be careful. But this is the moment. Mindy, I will leave you here. I love you. Have some fun. We're gonna go find us a place to park. We'll be back. We'll return will you and please report. Please make sure to get a five star, not a three star. We'll get the five star spot for five you. Five star will. spot, okay? What my sweetie wants, my sweetie gets. Baby wants a five star. <laughs> I'll weave you a dream, let's go! If we can score a spot inside here, look around really quick. I'm gonna do a 360 on here and look at what we'd be surrounded by. It's a cut out little cove. There is absolutely no one in here. We would have this entire place to ourselves. Lake is insanely crowded, but somehow, I wonder if it's just like a difficult channel to get through. That's never stopped Justin from trying, but we would have all of this to ourselves. to so just play, jump off of. We're thinking just right behind me here is where we would put the houseboat, just exploring it, seeing if there's some fun sand for the girls to hang out in. Good spot to anchor, but this would be our home for the next week, you guys. This would be absolutely absolutely mind blowing. I can barely believe that this is what we're calling home. We got here, we got the boat anchored, we got it tucked into this tiny little cove. Look how close we are to this wall. Wish I could walk you through the events that transpired in making this possible, but I was too busy. Keeping everyone alive and safe was a full team effort getting this thing in here. It's a very narrow section with a little island. We've got another, I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, can't tell what you can see. But over here, you've got another piece of rocks. So we put it right in between these two, and the kids have just been dying to get out, get into this water. So we're getting sunscreed up, we're getting ready to have some fun, but this is the place that we are calling home for the next few days. It is like having a private piece of Lake Powell all to ourselves. Look at this, this is entirely just us. Our boats, our jet skis, we got slide off the back of the boat here, we've got a floating island, we've got kayaks, we've got everything you could possibly want for an incredible week of fun. We just found the perfect spot of paradise to call home. Ready for this? One arm, super slippery death. Three, two, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, Hazel! <laughs> Hazel, you're insane! <laughs> That is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen.
What an incredible first day here. Oh my gosh, so this is our room and it is actually huge. huge. We have me, Mindy, Maddie, Hazy, and Brex all in this room. How incredible is that? Bunk so room. they've been doing the top of the boat. Here's the explanation of why everyone is up at four o'clock this morning. The sun came up and peaked over the mountains at like 4.30? Yeah, it was super early. I was woken up to little feet running around. I was like, oh my gosh, I better run up there and get things under control so it doesn't wake anybody. They were up, it you guys. It was already sunny. It was very, very warm. So today we're trying to cram everybody inside in the hopes that we can sleep a little bit longer tomorrow. Because guys, we went to bed like after midnight and everyone was up a little bit after four. So everyone's yeah. on like about four hours of sleep. Hazy claims she never went to bed. Mindy's yeah. tired. Well, the guy went to bed. He didn't really get much sleep last night, but I feel like we're going to get lots I think tonight. tonight we may have the secret recipe, although we've got about 20 people in the front room right now. I hope they can sleep in. I think they will. We're pretty exhausted from a, a great machine. first day. We have got our pack of people in here. They've got <laughs> some scattered throughout. We're going to try and get some great sleep because yeah. tomorrow, you guys, we want to go do some serious exploring down some uh. of these crazy canyons. Some are so tight. Justin was telling me that we turn off the boat and we just pull ourselves through by moving our hands against the wall just to keep the boat from hitting that the side. very stressful. So cool. And then got to do some cliff jumping. That is high on my list. That is my favorite Lake Powell thing to do. Ooh. I will say my favorite thing is jet skiing and I got to do a ton of that today. So I'm feeling yeah, very that's fulfilled. Exciting. I think the kids are having so much fun. They're playing with their cousins. They're building crafts. I can barely find them half the time. They're having so much fun. They are having so much fun. I've been puzzle making with Lindsay and Daniel. It's been the like puzzle amazing. has been a hit, you guys. I cannot yeah. deny the puzzle has you been a major hit with the in-laws. I so will say I haven't seen a natural yeah. born Bingham at the table no yet. No Binghams <laughs> are really down with the puzzle. But all the in-laws have been loving the puzzle. So check out our Instagram because I've been posting stuff there at This Is How We Bingham. And not only do we have so many more action-packed fun days to come, but we also have a very special birthday to celebrate. So there's so much so fun in store, you guys. We love you. We love you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.